Tell me one thing. When you want to be very clear and precise about something, anything, what is your first go-to? If I'm guessing it right, your answer is you either name it or number it. For example, if you want a certain candy bar, you will know its name and ask for it at the store, won't you? Similarly, if you want a certain number of those bars for you and six other friends, you will ask for seven candy bars. If you tell the shopkeeper you want some candy bars, wouldn't that help? No? So essentially, we have the alphabet system from which a vast dictionary of words have been developed, which we use to name things. And the other is the number system, which helps us to be more specific about quantities. And that brings me to our study material for this video, the chapter on number systems. You know, there is so much diversity in things around us that to simplify things, man has learned the art of classification. And believe me, that doesn't make life easier. Now I was talking to you about numbers a few seconds ago, and interestingly, they are also classified or categorized into groups. And during the course of this video, we will discuss these categories in detail. So shall we begin the chapter on number systems? Great. Let us begin with natural numbers. So the numbers that we use for counting, that is the numbers that we start with 1, 2, 3 and go on till infinity are called natural numbers. We denote these by the capital letter N. We can count any number of things using natural numbers, which means that there are infinite natural numbers. So the set of natural numbers that we represent by the number N is written as n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on inside curly brackets. Now let's try counting using the set of natural numbers. Here I have three apples in my fruit basket. Let's say I eat one apple, give one apple to my friend and throw away the third apple because it was rotten. Now how many apples do I have in my fruit basket? Can you see any apple in here? You're right, there isn't any apple left. So you can't really count the number of apples in the fruit basket. However, you can say that there are zero apples in there. But the number zero is not included in natural numbers. And if I do include zero in the set of natural numbers, we get another set of numbers which is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. And this new set of numbers is known as whole numbers. We represent it by the capital letter W. To sum it up, we have natural numbers that start with 1 and go on till infinity. If we add 0 to this set of natural numbers, we get whole numbers starting with 0, 1 and then going on till infinity. Okay, any numbers missing in this set? You will get the answer after I describe a situation to you. Let's say you're somewhere in Kashmir. And the temperature today is 5 degrees Celsius. Now, the weather forecast for tomorrow says that the temperature is going to drop by another 7 degrees. If this is the scale on which the temperature is measured, then today we are at 5 degrees Celsius, which is here. Now, if the temperature were to drop by 1 degree, we would go 1 degree down from 5 degrees and then the temperature would become 4 degrees Celsius. And if it were to drop 2 degrees, we would go 2 degrees down from 5 degrees and the temperature would be 3 degrees Celsius. However, since we have been told that the temperature is going to drop by 7 degrees, we start from 5 and move 7 degrees down. That's 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and we have reached 0 degrees but we still have to go 2 degrees further left on that scale which means the temperature is going to fall even below zero degrees. If you go one degree below zero, you get minus one degree and another degree below that, you get minus two degrees. Therefore, when you count seven degrees below five degrees Celsius, you get a temperature as minus two degrees Celsius. And these numbers that are smaller than zero are called negative numbers. 
on the number line. The positive numbers or the natural numbers are written on the right side of the zero, while the negative numbers are written on the left side of zero. And like the positive set, these negative numbers also go on till infinity, but on the negative side of the number line. Therefore, the infinity on the negative side of the number line is known as minus infinity. So let's include these negative numbers in our set of whole numbers. When we do that, we get an entire set of negative numbers from minus infinity to minus 1. Then we have 0 and then the entire set of positive numbers from 1 to plus infinity. And this new set of numbers is called integers. And we denote this set by the capital letter Z. So even Z is a set of unending numbers starting with minus infinity, which is nothing but infinity on the left side of the number line going on to minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. Written inside curly brackets. Wow, our set of numbers keeps getting bigger and bigger. And guess what? There's still more to add. Tutamate. For more amazing video lectures, download the free app on the Apple App Store or Google Play Store.